Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Wildermyth. Last time we left off, we did pretty well. We have successfully recovered. Um, I have mentioned when, when playing other games before that usually like the start of a game, if you're playing on a hard difficulty, is the hardest. Um, because once you kind of get access to better equipment and more options and stuff like that, it usually gets a little bit easier, and that definitely seems to hold true for this game as well. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get in here. And see what we can accomplish. Uh, extra health on the butler? No thanks. Um, yeah, I mostly just want to cancel that. 30% extra health. I don't even know what that thing does yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that right now. We will, uh, continue. Help! Can help me? Any? Yes, it's kind of what we do, huh? Oh my god, it's adorable. It's an adorable little snapping turtle. A snapping turtle. Enchanted turtle! Turtles don't talk. Their brains are the size of a thimble. That very personal remark. Uh, sorry. As was saying, an enchanted turtle. I'm actually princess. Sure you are. Are you gonna ask someone to kiss you to turn you back into a princess? <laughs> and then you're gonna bite our face off? <laughs> Was enchanted by jealous rival, cursed to shape woozy now. But kiss can set me free. Uh, Kiss a snapping turtle? I don't know. Please help. An enchanted princess, how can we not? Well, we have to help the poor thing. Oh no, don't be swayed by its cutish turtle talk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Uh, Enchanted princess, how can we not? <laughs> Let's go for it! Mwah! Did it work? I'm not dead. Care! Care! Free! Free! Me free! Now the wretched shark shall pay. Curse me to turtle, will he? I guess she never said she was a human princess. I feel used. <laughs> this was a fantastic event. Whatever you say, turtle kisser. Legacy points three, though. I'll take it. All right, build a station here to earn resources. Uh, hide <coughs> and fabric, or just two fabric. I'm gonna do the Weaver Works. There you go, and it'll take like no time to complete. Good, established. Let's go. There was a better way to split my crew up for this. This would be fine. Fidbo. Bora has eyes for a new lover. You know, I'll actually do this. Evan Luck? Meet Bolandin. His name is Bolin, actually. He darn socks! It's not all I darn. Charming. He has a journey to go on, so I offered to go with him. Go. Yeah, so here's what it is. Baller was captured by roaming Draven. Oh. Oh, that's what we, uh, the company? Well, that's what we do, Bolin. Let me wake the company. Wait, did I miss a, I think I missed a line of dialogue there. Uh... Let's catch the So, yeah, so here's what it is. Well, that's what we do. Let me wake the company. Oh, okay. So, yeah, no, I didn't miss anything. No, it... It's not too many Draven. Oh. So, it is some Draven, so... They have captured my family. Well, that was suspicious at all, was it? Name's just Bolin, actually. Well, so we'll get going then. Bolin then says... Oh, good. I was gonna say... Thump. Should I let Vibora have her fun? Hold up, at least take me along. I know the folks up there quite well. <coughs> oh, that's even better, both of you? Oh, uh, but I just remembered we can't go tonight because of reasons. Why are you, like, 
smiling so aggressively because you don't want to go? Oh, that's even better, both of you. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. Alright, and then Duncan and Rumwar. Um, oh, but there's- oh, that's an incursion area. There's a chance they're gonna be attacked. Story continues. It's an awkward, quiet trek. Many of the shortcuts Bolin seems to know well are unfamiliar to Evanlock. He did it, Evanlock. He made it weird. He'd be, uh, the one to tell you this, but he's hiding something. Bolin's playing some other game of his own. Because you're exactly who I want to trust to tell me about love. Second thought, I relish being the one to tell you this. We're here! Thick line of forest rises before them. Not clearly menacing, nor even remarkable. Birds and squirrels and the things in between make their sunset sounds. Got my brother in there. You let me go on alone. I know these woods. You come when I call. Follow Bolin. Wait for Bolin's symbol. Signal? I trust him. Come on, let's wait. Look around the ruins. I'm not letting him out of my sight. We can choose to trust, or we can choose to not trust. I feel like you might just be weird, like, like maybe, maybe Evan Locke is just like, thinking something up in his head, but it's actually just nothing. And you also said you went a lot of ways that, that you didn't know. So we might potentially be like, ambushed or something. Hmm. But if I leave you... If I leave Fidbora, then Fidbora will be alone. Hmm, and maybe if I do this, I get an item or something? Don't know. Hmm... I feel like... I feel like the game's gonna do a funny if I follow you. Or like maybe I follow you and then they and then someone attacks Fidbora and Bolin wasn't even doing anything. I'm just gonna choose one. We're gonna wait. Tell you whatever you think will happen, you're going to be disappointed. Or or oh wait, I thought it was you. Maybe. Disappointment isn't the worst thing. Better to chase something and not catch it than spend your whole life stagnant and wandering. You're being serious, aren't you? You're a fool, but at least you know it. I'm not sure that makes it better. Oh, there's something. Uh, hey, Fidbora, here's a wild theory. Bora stoops to pick up a small relic half buried in the rubble, hmm? Oh, what if this is all a ploy to get us to stand out here defenseless and Bolden was just trying to sell us to some drawn enslavers and they've each got swords? Mmm. <laughs> you bastard, I trusted you! That's oddly specific. Well, I got an earth shell brooch. Um... Cool. Uh. Um. I mean, does 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 Duncan even need more block? Maybe. Uh, take the block. Maybe I should give it to one of the characters that's currently in the fight. Like like Evan Lock. <laughs> Here you go. Take it, Evan Lock. We might need it. Devon and Gore Lord, swaggering and shouting vicious challenges, its underlings shrink from its path. Honor tail and or honor tall and scarred by its lessons. It sings in the heat of pillaging, a song of blood and dragons. Great. Great. At least we have Andra here with us. I guess Andra just joined us because the, the Bolin person betrayed us, basically. I don't know how Andra got here, because you definitely weren't in the crew before, I don't believe, right? I thought- I thought the other character was with us. I thought I was- I- maybe I just assumed incorrectly. Maybe I did actually bring you in. Um... Okay, well, you two- we- we should be able to handle it. Um... First things first, though, we need to... kind of reveal what's going on here, and you have the most armor, so... Okay, so that's where this thing is. Now, what exactly can it do? Is my question. Fireball? You can also interfuse. You regenerate HP. Sneer. Moves away from the attacker after being attacked once per turn. Ooh, that's good. 
Um, this is fine. What does the interfusion do, though? I'm guessing you can just use the interfuse attacks like we do. Well, uh, I'm gonna shoot you, because it's gonna make you move, and then you're gonna... Oh, never mind. You jumped over. Oh, that sucks. Actually. Um... Let's see, where do I want to sit? Maybe I just go over here. Yeah, and then we can set up an ambush. And then Fidbora. Let's see, is there anything you could reach? What's the range on the birdcage? Six, one, two, three, four. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so interfuse with the birdcage. Oh, no, I didn't mean to... <laughs> I just interfused him with Drew immediately. My hand accidentally clicked there. Oh, God. Uh, that thing's big. Ravage? Attack two targets within range. Once per combat, if missing health at the start of turn, take half damage until start of next turn. Oh, that thing is not fun. I can't believe I screwed up and didn't even get to use my stupid birdcage because my hand twitched and I clicked right when my next thing was starting up and it screwed it all up. Oh, okay. How far can you move? Not super far at the moment. I'm kind of scared you'll be able to reach us if I don't, like, pin you or something. Let's see. Do I have wild grasp? Dealing damage and pinning them. Dealing damage and pinning them. So, if I interfuse into you... Move over here... And then wild grasp you... You blocked it! Okay, well, we're gonna need to put some of those down right there. To make sure that you don't kill me next round. And then this thing is just gonna be annoying. Yeah, this this is this is obnoxious. All because of that jackass. I should have I should have listened to you, Evan Locke. I should have listened to you. Okay, shoot. I'm just gonna ambush. It'll be better, I think. You might hit. Oh, if I do that though, you might live. Well, I only have a 15% chance to stunt, so there's a good chance you're gonna live anyway. So let's just do this. Because if you move. We're good. Ow! That's not what I wanted to happen. And you're not moving. Okay. Well, Evan Locke's got a free shot. Oh my god, 20% chance, you little shit! Die! God! <laughs> you're still pinned. Let's see, you still have the pin, right? Pinned, yeah, I can't move. I kinda just wanna move you back over there anyway. There we go. God, that thing is horrifying. Um... Die! I hate you! <laughs> God, the region and everything is rough. Okay... Let's see, what do you have? Blooded Ferocity, take half damage. Once per combat is missing HP, take half damage. Okay. Well, um... Pots? Sharknado. Got a whirling vortex from the shards of the object and direct its wrath for one turn. We're gonna interfuse into this and move over here. Okay, shark trap. Maybe, maybe that'll be useful. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna do this for right now. I still have it. For other things. It is big, so when it walks somewhere, there's a good chance it's gonna hit something. Okay, currently you only take half damage, so there's not really a whole lot of point in me doing much else. Really, all I could r realistically do is put down some jump jaws right there, just in case you decide to come that way. And then... Let's see... Could set up an ambush right here. But we're we're pretty much good. Okay. 
So we've got quite a good little um, setup going here. Let's interfuse into the rock. Did reveal you. I can't discus you. Question now becomes where are you going to go? So you could walk down there and hit the traps, or you could walk up there and not hit the traps. Um, let's see, Evanlock. You would have to be right here to shoot it, which would kind of put you in a dangerous spot. Let's just uh, do this again. You wait. And you also wait. We just need the thing to move towards us. There we go. Wait, how did you move that far? Oh my god, I thought you couldn't move that far. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Well, we'll move over here, I guess. Um. Really thought you could not move that far. Kind of annoying that you did that. Uh. Let's... I'm no longer interfused with those. I could hit you with one of these, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. This should reach. So let me see. The shackles? The shackles will reach. Okay. So we move back here. And I shackle you. As long as I can just continue to CC you, we're, we're kind of fine. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, that looks good to me. And you are pinned. Pinned. Can't move and defenses are lowered for two turns. Good. I'm glad you don't have, like, attacks of opportunity or something like that. That would be quite awful if you did. <laughs> there you go. Okay, this is going to take forever, but we're going to do it. Okay. So you did heal, but you're still pinned for one more turn. Um, interfuse into the rocks. Let's move you, like, back here. And hit you with a disc. There you go. God, this thing's tanky. Um, and let's move you right here. Shoot. Good. And Evan lock. You also shoot. There we go. And it's pinned for this turn still. Thank you. Die. <sighs> I mean, it's terrifying, but... Oh. Yeah, when it, when it moved past that trap I had set up over there, I saw, like, the one-by-one one gap, but I was like, one, I didn't think it could walk that far, and two, <laughs> I, I thought it was too big to squeeze through that gap. Low mood fogs their otherwise cloudless return. With the last evening, a storm welcomes them back to Amazbran. Suppose I'll never really be happy. I'd still be pining for Bolin, right? Oh, can't I be? I hate you. Yeah, but uh, hey, Evanlock? What? You don't have a brother, do you? Brother? Why? <laughs> Boar is on the hunt! Once per combat, Fibora grants an adjacent target 5 temp HP and removes negative status effects. That's pretty cool. When Fibora takes damage for each interfused object, one point is prevented and the object takes two damage instead. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, Earthscribe, advanced interfusions. Allies may wall with interfused objects? Stone passive grants extra armor, warding, and temp health. An active rock shield, bone, bone wall. I really like Earth Scribe, although this one is really neat too. I like Earth Scribe. We, 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 you know, hang out with uh, rocks quite a bit. Let's say. Uh, Evanlock, you, and Anj. Who's not over there? Fidbor. Get over there. Especially just in case they get attacked by the incursion. We are ambushed. 
Uh, okay, for a moment the forest seems to darken. A single hush snap in the surrounding forest floor, the menace could suddenly be anywhere all around. Draven. Duncan, came back real quick. Real quick. Blazes, I'll set fire. Chaos can be an ally. Got to be patient to escape effectively. None of us are stealthed. If we're swift, we can rush past them. Temp damage, temp health, or blazes. I mean, the blazes would be very, very good for you. This might be a rough fight, though. Blazes would be good for Fire Lash, and I could also buff y Duncan. But I kind of feel like since there's just two of us, maybe we want temporary HP. Now we're going to set fires. Hmm, good. Blazes chew at the skirts of these high pines. Escape may have gotten more urgent. Gore Lord, there's another one? And a... Steven, another one of those annoying assholes, too. Okay, we gotta get over there. Oh, Urkel Bits is with us, damn it! That's actually not great, and I don't really have a good way to pin the Gore Lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, this isn't it. This isn't it! Um... Wild Grasp. Okay, I do have access to a Wild Grasp. One, two, three, four, five. Can't reach it. How far can it move? It can move just to there. Okay, so we're gonna interfuse into the sapling. This gives me partial cover. And we're also gonna interfuse into... Splinter Blast, Discus Wild Grasp. I think this stump. The stump is very nice. Okay. Then we're gonna... Maybe wait over here. Yeah, see this thing... It, okay, so it's saying it can't reach me. So we should be good. You're gonna go right here. You're going to go right here. We do have our spirit blade active and everything. Alright, and then Duncan, you wall. With Ramor. And we are guarding. Okay, wait. So what's happening? There's the bad thing that I don't want. Draven infused? What'd you infuse to? The tree? Um, annoying, but not too bad. Let's see here, so... You... Yes, so could you pin it? You could. 87% chance to pin and stun. Alternately... I get out of that one. What what happens if I do it with this? Grants adjacent, directly adjacent allies, plus one damage. Big damage. Or, yeah, I mean, you just kind of get pinned in, like, the same locations that aren't super, super useful to me. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. I kind of wanted to kill it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, especially with this annoying bastard hanging out over there. Um... Hmm... I mean, it is pinned. You're not going to be able to move the next turn. So what we could do is just make a run for it. Um... Of course, Rum War can't. Rum War cannot. Because our, our exit's up there. But it can't hit Rum War, so we do have that going for us. Oh, I'm hobbled. <gasps> I got moved right beside it. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, just, just, get as, just get as far away from the thing as you can, Rum War. As far away from it as you can. Let's see. So if I... Well, this will end my turn, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, whatever you do. Um, now, see, the problem here is... Is... I want to be as far away from this thing as possible, but I also want cover. We're going to move right here with Duncan. Um, oh, no. And now we don't have a way to pin it. Let's see how far. It can move far enough. It can move far enough. 
This might be the time we have to sacrifice Urkel bits. If I want to get the rest of us out of here, this might be the time we have to sacrifice Urkel bits. Like, yeah, I could have pinned the thing, but then I couldn't have moved to get out of there. Oh, Urkel bits. Uh, get get in there, Urkel bits. Go ahead and stomp this big jerk. Okay, that'll at least block. Oh, Urkel bits! No, Urkel bits! Urkel bits is one HP. If if Duncan gets out, does Urkel bits get out? That's that's the thing we need to learn at this point. If Duncan gets out, does Urkel bits also get out? Uh. See, we have, uh, partial cover, good cover. I'm gonna need you to run, run more, run more. I mean, I knew this was a, I knew this was a danger when I, when I did it. So. But, we're, we're, we're just gonna see. We're just gonna see. I think I have to get Urkel Bits out, too. We might be losing Urkel Bits. No, Urkel Bits is still there! <gasps> Urkel Bits is alive! Urkelbits is alive. Um. Um. Uh. Okay, so we can we can get up here. We can we can get up here. Urkelbits. Urkelbits. Could you escape? You, Urkelbits can escape. Urkelbits can escape. Oh, oh, run, Urkelbits, run! <laughs> okay, we are out of here. Bye bye. <laughs> <sighs> Lucky the trees are thick here. Draw Raid Knight? You're, you're riding a, a chocobo? Hopefully I just don't run into them much more. The Draven are becoming as scary as as my 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 other enemies. For sure. Okay, so let's let's go finish scouting. We have to. But this time we're gonna have everyone. <sighs> We almost made it through without getting ambushed, too. Strength six. There's five of us. We probably got it. We are missing a little bit of HP. Maybe I... Allow them to heal. Thank you. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> that one HP could save me. Mine wiles? Uh, hi? Keep going, Ziggy. I keep... You're almost... Conk! <laughs> uh, hi, <laughs> Orphid Bora. Stay back. I I know how to use this. Yeah, you'd better if you're brandishing it like that. Take it easy, Evan Locke. Hey, Fidbora, you good to get up? Yeah. You can put that weapon away. You first. <clears throat> do you have to do this whole thing? Makes you look silly. The spear's not meant for you. Rest assured. Well, you're chasing Draven. Draven? Huh. Well, you're a bit late. I just snuck under the snouts of a dozen of them, or almost a dozen. They sent, uh, they... They what? Sent you screeching through the woods? I was not screeching, I... Let's have a fire and talk. Hmm. Come with us, you'll be safer. Me? But... You have beer? Whiskey. Oh-ho! We're on the same side! <laughs> That evening, the woman spills her story. Zagaya Shaw is her name, a treasure hunter. There's a miner who commissioned me to retrieve a necklace. Family heirloom, I guess it is. Then he left behind in a rush. It's not an easy country. The mine's pretty tucked in- the mine's tucked in there pretty deep. It's where the troubled kind of- it's where the trouble's kind of centered, we were told. The place got raided by scale skins a couple weeks back. And you're claiming you got in and got back out and didn't raise an alarm? How'd you manage that? Can't you guess? Sure, I bet it was... we should all wear lizard masks, right? It was the ventilation shaft. Okay... The vent? You... what? Tied a rope? Mm-hmm. And I'm about the limberest woman my age you'll ever meet. Could we maybe try the same thing? Difficult to locate? Want me to draw you a map? Sure. Oh, yeah. Probably be good. Oh. Well, so if you think of what a mine looks like, it's right on top of that. I... I see. Sunrise. What's there? Here's our vent. It's good. Let's keep our voices down. 
Scramble down rock face as quiet as they can. Mountain smelling mist helps deaden the sound. That treasure woman, Zagia. Watch, I bet she's following behind, fixing to loot our bodies. That's why I tell you, be shrewd. And don't pass up a chance to feed a stranger. Food's cheap, drink's cheap, and you're usually buying something better. Someone's gratitude. As they assemble there, an eerie, echoing draw of song can be heard in the mine depths. How do we want to do this part? Maybe mall part? Well... Through the vent shaft, let's drop in and surprise them. Thinking if we plug that vent, we can make them fight out here. I don't want to drop in and surprise them. Thinking if we plug that vent, we can make them fight out here. That's what I want. <clears throat> Why would that... Maybe you have to be quick, but I think it can work. I can plug the thing, the vent. Bring me a couple of your blankets. Bit of a climb. Good, yeah. Let's find the driest kindling we can. Andra and Romor scale the rocks again and stuff blanket wads into the gap. Morning is hurrying along. By the time they've returned, the bones of the bonfire are stacked. A few paces inside, the tunnel carves or curves upward into blackness. Bora takes the job of coaxing flames to life. And soon? Foosh. Waves of smoke wash within. Won't be waiting long. Okay, here we go. All heroes flanking attacks this combat deal plus two damage. And all foes suffer two damage at the start of the mission. That's super good. Plus two foe cards on turn three. They have one of the raid knights. Here's a shot after every turn, even if they are attacked. Ew. It sits proud and steady astride a screaming warbird, howling battle boasts as loose arrows arc and rain. This is not going to be a fun. Where are you going? Come over here. That one's actually spawned in a fantastic spot for me, so... They did take two damage at the beginning, which is nice. Uh, yeah, go get in there, Duncan. Gotcha! Do I get to make a wish now? Uh, tier one stone spear or legacy point? Bree bree! Done. Bone Lance! Stone Elemental. Stunt effect. Shreds one armor and pins all enemies within a two mile radius. Yeah, I'm good with that. Before we had Flame Titan's Piercer, so we do less stunt damage, but I get that cool stunt effect. I do like that. Yeah. Okay. So, next you move right here to the buckets provide. They do provide partial cover. There's a Raid Knight. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to, to, to lock down with Duncan. Uh-oh. Um... How far do I have to move up to interfuse with you? Because I really, really... <coughs> would like to do that. So, oh, they took two damage at the start, but I'm not going to be able to do anything about with that anyway. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that anyway. Because they're just going to heal. I mean, I can at least burn them. Okay, the darts revealed. Um, if you could interfuse with the bonfire as well... That would have been phenomenal, but I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. Because if you go right there, when their turn comes around, they're going to be able to hit you. So you have what? Shoot? Ah, oh, a swift action? Charge? Every other turn, Raid Knight charges, trampling scenery and knocking aside heroes? Talon, 6-8 damage. Birdback Rider. When its mount is killed, the archer is left behind. That's annoying. Ignore scenery when moving, smashing through it and dealing damage to it instead. Oh, this is bad. That's a terrible enemy to be fighting now. Uh, see, the problem is I really, really would like... Let's see. The Raid Knight's going to be able to make it over here. The Divan is not... The Dart is not... That is not... not. So... I can... Get right here... And like armor up with you and then I can I can bonfire but I don't have enough I all I can do is light it scalding rain shackles can I get calcify gain extra armor warding and temp health while interfusing with stone yes rock shield create a protective shell of stones around the mystic or an ally 
granting three temporary HP until next turn. And then, yeah, I have the shackles, but the shackles can't reach, right? Because one... Yeah, they, they wouldn't be able to do anything. The tree is just splinter blast. More tree, more tree. Calcifying would be nice, though. This has four range. One, two... Maybe would be able to hit it? I don't think so, though. What we really, really need is to just set up a ton of pins in this area. Urkel Bits has to stay out here. Urkel Bits is still hurt a lot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the bucket. So there we go. I have armor. Granting three temporary HP until next turn. And then yeah, I can't reach anything. Okay. And now that I've done that, I can even get into a better spot right here. Urkel bits, you you stay right there. Wait. You, Andra. I am going to want to put some some things down. Uh, so let's set those right there. Duncan's doing his thing. Let's see, if I get right here by the bucket, there's partial cover. And I can get armor by sitting right here. Which is good, because I want to do that. <sighs> I could put down more jump jaws, even more, if it tries to, if, if anything tries to come out here. I don't think that's going to be helpful, though. I think more than anything, maybe just hide. <clears throat> okay, get a free attack on the Gore Lord. You're interfusing with that. The darts are doing their thing. You take two damage. Ow. Oh, that is annoying. That is annoying that you just get to do that. That you just that you just get to do that. Okay. And they have that set up. Hmm. I think Duncan's gonna have to move right here and attack this thing. Um, first we want to stall Wart though. Just smack the stupid thing. Okay, and then you strike, melee strike, how much damage would that do? It will actually kill. Um, should probably interfuse with something first, though. <clears throat> like the fire right here? Let's see, I could have somebody else kill you. If I interfuse with this, I could start the fire. Yeah, illuminate. And then steal it again. Ooh, that is good. I can, like, kill that dart. Good. Okay, okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. Um... Disc. Really do much. You do have this, we can kill. Is there anything better I would want to interfuse with? Let's look at this. What's the what's the range on the scalding rain? Not enough to help. Can't reach anything with that either. Okay, so you're just gonna kill this thing. That was big damage. There's the raid knight. So what does it do? Bow, two to four damage, five range, and you heal and stuff, of course. Okay, but now we're running out of people to actually help here. Let's see, if I move right here, right now I could try to shoot you, it's not really going to do much. But from here... 97% chance for big damage. That looks good to me. We are by the tree, so this is going to hurt in a minute, because that demon is going to... hit me. I can't quite kill that thing. And it makes me very, very angry. It's going to survive with 1 HP, unless you stunt, which you're not going to. So I think what I would rather do more than anything is ambush. If that thing's gonna live no matter what. Okay, who are you shooting? Rumor, that's annoying. Okay, that's fine. You pulled me over there. We can handle that. It dodged it, you little shit. Okay, at least you're stopped. 
God, now there's storm throat and a stump coming. Uh, okay, you can do a whopping one damage. One shred. And the gouge does shred, which would probably make it better in this particular instance. Uh, oh my god. Let's see, and it does count as like a full action and everything as well. I think I would rather you move right here. Um, you... I wonder if you could just kill that thing. Probably not. You don't do enough damage. Yeah, three damage. Let's see, what could I do? Wild grass, rocks, the disc could kill. We really just need to get you into better cover and stuff. This is partial cover. This is good cover. You... I can stop this thing from moving... ...by doing this. Ah, uh, but if it moves, like, diagonal, it could still be fine. I'm gonna do that, though. Okay, and then you are annoying as shit. I hate you. I hate everything you stand for. <laughs> I hate everything about you. Oh my god. Okay, and then Evanlock, we have... ...this, but the stupid dart will probably just dodge it again. I really, really need to get rid of that Raid Knight, though. Let's see, so Fidbora, what could you do? Gorelord... It's currently pinned. Can't move. That just gets rid of a bunch of your resistances. That is a chance to get rid of that. Shackles won't work. I don't know if that's worth it. I feel like... We, we need to kill that enemy back there, but... This is also going to be a problem. There you go. Take that damage. Uh, Urkel Bits, you, you just stay back there, I guess, for the moment. Um, wish I had a better dagger. Wish I had a better dagger. It's a pretty good chance I kill you. We already have our traps set up there. You will take a lot of damage. One more. Two shred, two pierce. Pin them. Discus, five damage, four range, but it's not going to do enough to kill the Raid Knight. Still going to get in there on that, though. What do you mean you can't hit it? I guess the tree's blocking it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really, really blows. Um. I mean... God, that's annoying. This enemy's garbage. I hate you. I thought it was just gonna be one of the little darts that spawned, but no. Uh, two shred, two pierce. Just go for that. Splinter blast. Fuck you. There, now you have no cover. So now you can shoot the stupid thing and hopefully kill it. Hate you. Die. Shine. <laughs> Hate everything about you. Okay, and then that means... Would it be better for you to shoot or try and ambush the dart? Let's try and ambush the dart. Okay. So that thing can't move. Dart got hit, but... Just a little bit of damage. That's whatever. You got moved, which does suck. Okay. The Gore Lord just healed up all of the damage I've managed to do to it because of their stupid, 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 stupid passive. Um. Let's see. I could get in here and attack it. What I would ideally like to do, though, is pin it again before I try to attack it. So. I think Duncan's still gonna sit right here, maybe. Uh, Ramor... Let's see, we need to get away from that thing. 
You're in on the rocks. Okay, okay, I could hit this thing. Let's let's get you out of there. Yeah, you're kind of low, so that's gonna do pretty good damage to the Gore Lord. The dart dodged it, unfortunately, but what can you do? Uh, the Gore Lord's honestly less of the problem at this point, so I don't think I'm gonna focus on it because it's just about to walk into this trap, probably. Hmm. I say that though. What if it? <laughs> what if it manages to to get past? It's not pinned after all. Well, I can't shackle anything. Oh wait, no, I can. But I just have to select first. Oh, that would be phenomenal. Yes, please. Yeah, I forgot. I needed to select the correct thing. Okay, so that kills them. They're done. Okay, we're looking, uh, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, I would say. The Gore Lord will probably die right here. I can put down some more Jump Jaws. But I don't think I need to yet, because you're dead. Bye. And then I can set up an ambush over here. The stump's gonna move into these, so let's set that down for them. And then, yeah, you just Guardian, Duncan. You're doing your tanking, that's all I care about at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you did pull me forward, that, that is unfortunate. Oh wait, you were still pinned, you couldn't do anything anyway. Um... Strike? Hey, and we stunted, which means they're pinned. Get wrecked. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, we survived another one, I think. Okay, so... Interfuse into the barrel. Which allows me to either Splinter Blast or Shackle. Probably Shackle. There we go. So now it's just the Deven. Good. Alright. Um, you can't really do much to us. So... Let's put you down right there. Shoot you. Good stuff. Uh, and I get another shot because of my water bow. And then you... We could, uh, just wall up here. Could shoot you. Then who do we have left? Rumwar is the only one that could still attack. And there's nothing in there for Rumwar to really attack with. So, I think I'm gonna put that down instead. And yeah, you just stay back there. Uh, that's fine. That's all you're gonna do? Okay. Yeah, you were pinned, I guess, so I should have just shot you. <laughs> you weren't going to... the ambush wasn't going to work, but whatever. We weren't going to kill you that round anyway. Unless you had critted like that. Okay, victory! Yay, we did get a level up. Duncan's level 4. Okay, Duncan gives adjacent allies plus 1 bonus damage and spell damage. It's pretty good. Thundering Challenge. Once for combat is a swift action, Duncan frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. Upgrade Untouchable. No longer wears off after one turn would be nice. Enter Guardian at the end of every turn, even if you ended your turn by attacking? Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I want that. <laughs> that's, that's really good. Um, so currently we have Gwelder knee pads, which give me more HP. Um, let's give these to Andra. Yeah, and you also have your little buddy still. Terror bird? No. Oh my god. That's totally what they are in RuneScape too, isn't it? Terror birds. <sighs> okay. We're done. That was a stressful episode filled with, I'm sure, many, many, many mistakes because of stress, but we're good. We're good. And now, next time, all we have to do is just run over here, build a bridge, and then, bam, we're good. Or I could just build a bridge over here, but then I would have to build two, so we might as well 
Either build it, like, right here. Yeah, alright. So, cool. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.